Today we're going to be taking a close look over the web admin interface of the Pepwave Surf Soho MK3. After connecting to the Soho with Ethernet cable or wirelessly, you can access this at 192.168.50.1. Once you're there you'll log in with the default username and password. Both of these are admin, all lowercase. Click Login. For new users running firmware 8.1 or higher, you will be prompted to change this default password before proceeding. The main page we'll see is the dashboard. WAN connection status tells us the internet connections we have active along with their priority group. Here we have our WAN, a hardwired ethernet connection, which is in priority group 1 and currently connected. Priority group 2 is listed with Wi-Fi WAN on 2.4 GHz, and under disabled is Wi-Fi WAN on 5 GHz. Also called Wi-Fi as WAN, this feature allows the Soho to use an external Wi-Fi source as its internet connection. This would be used for campground Wi-Fi or even your phone as a hotspot. The priority groups are also used as your failover preferences, so if we ever lose connection on WAN Priority 1, Wi-Fi WAN on Priority 2 would come online. These WAN connections are all moved by dragging and dropping them under your desired priority. So if you click and drag one of the connections under Disabled, you can make that move without having to click any buttons or go into any alternate menus. This is meant to save time and make things easy for you as the user. The other parts of the main dashboard page include your LAN interface, so it lists your router IP address and it also has your Wi-Fi AP. That's the wireless network you're broadcasting from the Soho. There's a drop-down menu here to the right where you can turn your wireless on and off. If you click Details it'll bring you to the page that gives you more information on your Wi-Fi network. Currently we have two SSID configured. Clicking on the SSID will take us into its configuration. You can set a Wi-Fi schedule, which we'll cover later. Set up LAN ID and either hide, or in this case, show the SSID. Under Security Settings is where we can set the policy as well as a password, which is labeled here as Shared Key. Lastly, we've got the Access Control Settings, Guest Protect, and Firewall Settings, all of which we can use to allow or deny access into the network. Going back to the previous page, we can click the new SSID button to create up to two more SSID. This way, if you're running the Soho in your home office like we are, you have different options available to you. Back to the dashboard page again. The last section is your device information. This displays the device name, the firmware build, your uptime, CPU load, and your current router throughput. The next tab at the top is Speed Fusion Cloud, which may or may not be shown on your PepWave. This will only be displayed with 8.1.0 firmware or higher, but will not if you've configured the router to hide this information. We'll skip this for now and move to the Network tab. This will cover your network settings. The local area network is shown first. We can change things like the IP address, which is 192.168.50.1, by default. Peplink lists this default address as untagged LAN. Click the name to edit the configuration, you can change the name, address, DHCP range, and where you can manually set DHCP reservations. Moving back, you can also click on New LAN to create virtual local area networks, which can be used for guests or devices you need to isolate from others on your primary LAN. If needed, this is also where you can set static routes and DNS proxy settings. Clicking on Port Settings on the left will allow you to set the LAN port speed and VLAN ID for each of the four LAN ports, but only if you have VLANs configured. You'll also have the Wide Area Network section, which is going to mirror what we have at the main dashboard page, but also include a new feature on firmware 8.1.1 called WAN Quality Monitoring. This is set to Auto by default, but you can adjust the configuration to monitor only specific connections. What we didn't cover at the dashboard is the WAN Configuration Settings. These are under Details to the right. You can set the connection method, DNS settings and bandwidth values here. Scroll down to find the health check settings and adjust how it monitors and resets your connection when there's an outage. There's a bandwidth allowance monitor to track and disconnect your connection based on a user-defined limit. Additional IP settings and dynamic DNS hosting. The Surf Soho really gives you the freedom to configure your network as the service dictates and in the best way possible for your usage. Just as it sounds, the Advanced tab is where you're going to find all the advanced configuration settings. 
This includes PepVPN. This is PepLink's proprietary site-to-site -site VPN that works just like SpeedFusion VPN but without all the benefits. This is a way you can create a virtual private network between your Surf Soho and another PepLink or PepWave router that also supports PepVPN or SpeedFusion. Regarding the SpeedFusion Cloud tab, this is a cloud-based service provided by PepLink that allows you to create an unbreakable connection when using multiple WAN connections. This includes WAN smoothing to help with packet loss and bandwidth bonding. Check out our video called PepLink's PepVPN, World's Easiest VPN, New 8.1 Firmware, if you're interested. Back to the Advanced tab, we can also find the Outbound policy. This is for controlling how our outgoing connections are routed. Set certain connections to have access to the PEP VPN or enforce some devices to use only one of your WAN connections. Port forwarding is where you can set rules to open ports that direct inbound traffic to different local devices on your network. Next is quality of service rules so you can control bandwidth and prioritize connections like voice over IP or streaming applications. You can edit and apply new firewall rules, as well as block specific content and or websites from users. Remote user access is where you'll configure client to site type VPN connections. This includes L2TP with IPsec, PPTP, and OpenVPN. Under miscellaneous on the left you have service forwarding and service pass-through, along with settings that are used in conjunction with captive portal, certificates, and cellular if you're using a USB modem. The AP tab will take us back to our Wi-Fi configuration. This time, we'll take a look at the other settings on the left, which will look much different on firmware versions 8.1.0 and earlier. Wireless Mesh is a new feature that will allow you to link to PepWave's external Wi-Fi access points wirelessly. Previously, the only way to extend your wireless signal was by hardwiring access points to the Soho's LAN ports. Under Settings on the left, we can set the radio frequency, 2.4 or 5 GHz, for each SSID we have configured. You can set the channel settings, channel width and output power, all of which are going to be helpful in troubleshooting connection issues. Client signal strength threshold will help to ensure your devices only connect when the signal is strong enough, this setting and the next, maximum number of clients can help when using multiple access points. Operating schedule lets you set a time frame when the Wi-Fi is accessible. Schedule settings will be covered under the next tab system. The last sections here on the left under status will give you more details about the current state of the access points, SSID overview, client connections, and details about other Wi-Fi signals in the environment. This type of control is not typically found on other consumer or home business routers in its class. Be aware that any user with the Soho's serial number can create and add the Soho to their in-control account, assuming it has not already been added to an account. If you do not plan on using this feature, PepLink advises you to disable it. There's also some network administration tools, including ping, traceroute, wake on LAN, and analysis tests for WAN connections. The final tab is status. Basically, this gives you the information on your device. The MAC addresses of each of your network interfaces. Active sessions will show specific types of traffic currently passing over your network. The client list will show you exactly what's connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. This is also a very easy way to add DHCP reservations. Simply click on the button under the import column for the device and save from there. PEP VPN will show the status of your PEP VPN and SpeedFusion Cloud and take you to where you can test these connections. Event log tracks connection and device alerts and lastly, you have usage for keeping track of bandwidth usage in real time, hourly, daily, and monthly. Click on each to get more details on what clients were online and their usage tracked for that period. That completes our overview of the Surf Soho MK3 user interface.